Hello, in this video I'm going to cover the SQSQ CloudFormation Blueprint. This is a simple blueprint, it only provisions an SQS queue, but it's a very useful example if you want to learn about SQS queues and you want to play around with it and then cleanly destroy everything. So I actually really like these type of blueprints a lot. Um, helps, it's very helpful for learning. But you can also use the blueprint as is because essentially all the properties are configurable with parameters and any properties that aren't are configurable with variables. And you can also configure the policy document to add uh, to give it any IAMI permission that you, you need to. To use the blueprint, you could add the blueprint to your gem file, configure some values, then deploy. Here's the command to add it to your gem file, or here's the line, the code, and uh, here's the command called lonel c to generate basically parameter file and variable files. And you can see that uh, there's a lot of parameters that are configurable here with this queue right here. That's the command to deploy, and here are some more configuration details. Uh, one of them that's uh, being pointed out here is the retry policy. Retry policy essentially tells the queue how many times to retry the message before it gives up and then sends it to a dead letter queue. Okay? The policy document is um, what the permissions are going to be provided to the SQS queue, so this allows other services to talk to uh, SQS or talk to this SQS queue. Okay? So that covers everything in the readme. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the demo now. Let's go to this and throw this in the gem file. Now, um, you could throw that whole line, but there's a handy kind of method here, blueprint method. So I'm just going to do that because it's more concise and uh, shorter so the, because it does the same thing. Then once you get in there, you just run bundle to make it available. And then you could run uh, lonal C SQS. Okay. Once you run Lono C SQS, it generates some starter configs there. Let's explore them a little bit. Here is the development one, and they're all optional. So I'm just kind of leave things as is. Uh, and then there's some variables here. So for the retry policy and all that. Uh, I'm actually going to just leave everything as is here because uh, this is pretty kind of straightforward. Lono CFN deploy SQS, sure. So I'm going to kick off the deploy here. And it's going to create, uh, it's going to basically generate the templates and it's going to deploy this. Again, all these values were configurable, so you can configure for your needs here. But you can also just deploy it and ex explore it in the uh, in the AWS console and understand how it works, and then go codify it back. But look how quickly that took to create like a queue with CloudFormation, just because it's so, such a simple stack. Uh, it's very quick; it only took 10 seconds. So here's the queue. You click on resources, and there's a uh, the queue a physical ID, which happens to be the URL. So you can actually go to SQS, and then you, we can see the queue that was created here. Here we go. Here's the queue that was created. Okay, and here is uh, the ARN, the URL, permissions, which are all overridable, and redrive policy, which we didn't set, but we could have set, um, and then uh, other properties. Okay, so that's pretty much it uh, for this blueprint. Uh, again, it's a pretty simple one. I find it very useful, these simple ones, to uh, launch a resource, play around with it, and then quickly destroy it to understand maybe my assumptions about uh, how it worked, uh, what were correct, and all that. So hopefully you found this helpful. Cheers.